This video will demonstrate how to perform linear regression analysis in SPSS. These statistics is used to determine whether one variable predicts the other. The following assumptions must be met. First, the two variables should be measured at the continuous level. That would mean that the, our data can either be interval or ratio. Second, there needs to be a linear relationship between the two variables. We can actually check the linearity using the scatter plot in SPSS. If the data is or the variables are not linear, then you cannot perform this analysis, but instead you can use the non-linear regression analysis. Third, there should be no significant outliers. We know already that outliers are data points that do not follow the usual pattern. The next is that your data needs to show homocedasticity. The assumption means that the variance around the regression line is the same for all the values of the predictor variable or your x or your independent variable. And the last is that the data should be approximately normally distributed. So this is an example research question. Does job satisfaction significantly predict organizational commitment of employees? Our dependent variable is organizational commitment and our predictor variable or the independent variable is the job satisfaction. So in this particular question, we wanted to determine whether job satisfaction predicts organizational commitment. Now let's perform linear regression analysis in SPSS. But before we proceed to the analysis, let's check first the variable view. You know already that this is an area where we set the variables of the study. So our independent variable is job satisfaction and the dependent variable is organizational commitment. Since based on the assumption that the data must be at interval or ratio level, then we have to set the measure into scale. So in the data view, we can see here the overall mean scores per participant or respondents in both independent and dependent variable. So to analyze the data, we click Analyze, then Regression, and click Linear. You place the independent variable job satisfaction to the independent list and the organizational commitment to the dependent list. Then... We have to set the method into enter, that's actually the default, then click OK. Let's see the results of analysis. The first table is the model summary. The most important parameter that is commonly interpreted here is the R-square. The R-square indicates how much of the total variation in the dependent variable can be explained by the independent variable. In this case, the Independent variable explains 32.9% of the variance of organizational commitment, which is the dependent variable. This means that 67.1% can be attributed to other factors aside from job satisfaction. The next table is the ANOVA table, which reports how well the regression equation fits the data. This table indicates that the regression model predicts the dependent variable significantly well as shown in the p-value that is less than 0.05. This means that the regression model statistically significantly predicts the outcome variable and further imply that it is a good fit for the data. So since we have a good fitting model, then we can actually proceed to the interpretation of the coefficients. In the coefficients table, let's look at first the p-value. So the p-value is 0 0.001, which is less than 0 0.05. This means that job satisfaction significantly predict organizational commitment. So since the result is significant, you look at the beta values. The beta values have unstandardized and standardized beta. But for easier interpretation, we can use the standardized beta. This is a measure of the magnitude and direction of the effect. So the higher the beta value, the stronger is the effect. 
while the direction is positive or negative. If that is positive, then the relationship is directly proportional. And if negative, then the relationship is inverse. So in this case, the beta value is 0 0.574, which means that for every unit increase in job satisfaction, there is a corresponding increase in the organizational commitment by 0 0.574.